The standard firefighting orders are essential steps for making sound fireground decisions and are essential elements in the engine boss's toolkit. The fire orders are listed on the back cover of the IRPG for quick reference. Each order identifies specific actions which, when acted upon, result in safe, effective, and efficient fireground activities. You should have more than a passing familiarity with the fire orders. They are not ten things to memorize, they are ten things to do. The first three fire orders have to do with studying and responding to fire behavior. 1. Keep informed on fire weather conditions and forecasts. 2. Know what your fire is doing at all times. 3. Base all actions on current and expected behavior of the fire. These first fire orders remind us that gathering information on fire behavior is a critical starting point because every plan and action needs to be sensitive to what the fire is doing at all times. If you can't see the fire, stay in contact with someone who can. Never commit to a course of action that is not based on the actual or forecasted fire behavior. The next three fire orders are focused primarily on firefighter safety. Fire order number four, identify escape routes and safety zones and make them known. Five, post lookouts when there is possible danger. And six, be alert, keep calm, think clearly, and act decisively. Fire order number four refers to safety zones in addition to escape routes. We will be reviewing the difference between safety zones and temporary refuge areas later in this course. For now, simply be aware that you need to constantly assess escape routes in light of current and forecasted fire behavior. This will allow you to adjust quickly when the fire develops in unexpected ways. The next three fire orders deal primarily with organization control. Fire order seven, maintain prompt communications with your forces, your supervisor, and adjoining forces. Eight, give clear instructions and be sure they are understood. Nine, maintain control of your forces at all times. After addressing the first nine fire orders, you finally arrive at fire order 10. Fight fire aggressively, having provided for safety first. Only now are you clear to engage the fire. The correct application of the fire orders ensures that you will not fight a fire unless you have informed yourself about the fire behavior, prepared for firefighter safety, and established organizational control. The standard firefighting orders are essential to safe and effective fire ground operations. As the engine boss, you have the duty to integrate each fire order into everything you plan and do. This is how you will keep your crew safe as they perform their duties. Another essential guide for the engine boss is the risk management process. The risk management process outlines a sequence of considerations for making tactical decisions. It is an all-encompassing roadmap that organizes all the various tools and job aids that are at your disposal, including the standard firefighting orders and the watchout situations, among others. The risk management process is outlined on page one of the IRPG at the beginning of the green pages. The five steps or stages of the risk management process are situation awareness, hazard assessment, hazard control, decision point, and evaluate. We will be returning to these steps again and again in the coming lessons, but first let's briefly discuss each step in turn. The first step in the risk management process is situation awareness. Situation awareness means gathering information to better understand the environment you will be operating in. Why are you there? Who do you report to? What are the fire weather conditions and forecasts? What is the communications plan? Have you scouted the environment? Do you know where things are? Maintaining situation awareness requires that you constantly ask yourself these questions and are always seeking more current, detailed information on ever-changing conditions. During the hazard assessment phases is when you should pick up on any watch-out situations in the area. The 18 watch-outs are listed on the back cover of the IRPG and are designed to help you recognize situations in the field that require extra caution. Like the fire orders, you need to do more than just read and memorize the watch-out situations. Study and internalize them so that you instinctively recognize potentially dangerous situations when you encounter them. We will be referring to the watch-out situations throughout the coming lessons. Hazard control, the third step in the risk management process, involves selecting control measures to counteract the fire conditions and hazards you've identified. This is where you turn your analysis of the situation, your hazard assessment, into an action plan for limiting or even eliminating the dangers to your crew. 
most of the standard firefighting orders will be considered during the hazard control phase. The fourth step in the risk management process is decision point. This is the moment where you implement your strategy, but only after using the previous risk management steps to evaluate the situation, make a fire behavior forecast, assess hazards, and determine the proper hazard controls. All of the standard firefighting orders need to have been addressed by the time you've reached your decision point. Remember that the fire orders help you to assess fire behavior, attend to safety considerations, and establish organizational control. If you haven't been able to do all of these things, then your decision is clear. You should not engage the fire. Doing so would put the lives of your crew at risk. The final step in the risk management process is evaluate. Evaluate means to continually assess a situation, including human factors, the condition of your crew, to determine if your plan is working. In addition to the standard firefighting orders and risk management process, the IRPG provides a number of job aids that will be useful to you in working as an engine boss. We will draw your attention to many of these as we work through this course, but you'll want to review the IRPG on your own time as well, making sure you know where to find important information when it is needed. Mm-hmm.